hi today's video is all about image upload so uh, it's about ASP.NET MVZ where we can upload uh, images using uh, Vue.js so I have a project uh, where I have a company master there I have a image upload so this is the image upload uh, HTML this is the image upload where I accept a PNG and JPG and JPG and the maximum file size going to be 10 MB I suppose then uh, we have a, a method that's a on file change so at the rate at the time of changing the data will be uploaded to our server that sort of thing so i'll show you how is yeah so i have put a few logs into a console so that we can see what's happening there so first of all we just uh, log the file that we get in so we get the the file to a variable that's a file so just to take e dot target dot files so we take the file we just get the image file so and I have a data property here so this so initially it will be a jpg file from the web so with no image so after that we'll just change the url the data property with the uh, file so url dot create object url uh, and we input the file there so we get the file and uh, we now we get the file and uh, we uh, here we have another variable that's a form data variable so we have a new form data and uh, form data to, to append so we add the image uh, this file to our form data and then we send the data we send the data to the action so view x action so we have uh, an action with upload image so we and we uh, send form data as a payload to this action and i'll just go to this uh, action I'll just copy it so that uh, we can just find it out easily yeah that's one the last one so upload image and I have the context and the payload so our result so we get the result after inserting data in our server so await common that is our Ajax uh, import so I'll just show you the import there this one is common and this one is uh, manual ajax so i will be showing you so uh, this one common so what i have is i have a uh, i have imported ajax here then uh, i have created ajax variable and with the basic url our server name and uh, this one is our uh, site id so when we go for the uh, development I'll just change it to a base uh, URL and uh, I just get the uh, token and all from the uh, local storage that's what the thing here you can see here so this one is the common and uh, I have to go to the uh, store their actions okay so we have a, a, a api that's going to be item slash image upload so in the item controller we have a, an action called image upload so the image upload will receive this payload with the headers so we just we just add the header that's a, a content type Equals multi part form data that's all the thing so we get the result back and uh, 
context dot commit deleted items and this one is not working anyways i'll just uh, comment it with um, just uh, keep it here but it we will get another result so it will not be working so just to put it uh, for the development purpose and now oh, i'll go to the back end this is the back end where you can see the HTTP post attribute to our action result so this is i http action result uh, with api uh, controller and uh, and it has uh, an action called image upload so this uh, place where we get the image back to us um, our control the image from the view x or view x or uh, ajax call will be called to this image upload that's what the thing so after uh, when we get the um, file we do something like this so for that i'll show you uh, the real way so i'm just running this server and uh, it's uh, running yeah uh, we have got running this uh, server and it will just load uh, will not do anything else because we are going to work from the front end uh, that's from the visual studio code so i'm just going to take a new terminal where i will put npm run serve to uh, start this uh, as a new web development server so i'm just waiting for that so it's a starting development server we'll wait yeah now it has started and we have a local and a network so anything we can use so for the moment i'm just going with the local that's a local host 8081 I'll see I have another one running so I'll just close it there so it's 081 and I'm asked to enter the username and for this moment I'm just putting it admin admin and it will log in again so I have created a few forms here but uh, I'm not going to use all these forms but only this form the company master so when I open the company master I'll get a button here so when clicking a button it will open uh, a dialog box so in this place i'm just uh, entering few data but uh, i'm not using this anyways so again i have a, a no image available this is uh, a picture from, we are getting from the um, another server so we can so before that i'm just going to see oh, okay we have a debug section here so when i change uh, image here i will get the data here so i can just go on debug so now i'll just click on this button and i will add a yeah an image so this image is around 4.5 mb so let me see if i can and i can be able to upload this large file so yeah so as soon as i have put the image I got it here in this uh, controller I'm just going to see if it is working or not so before that uh, let me see yeah I don't have a, an uh, image folder here in this uh, project so we'll see so we get the file now the file is null just check yeah I have got the file here so content type uh, is image uh, and bar jpg and the file name i have got the file name so the content length the size of the file it's around 4.2 mp that's all the thing and uh, we can see the input stream so system.web.http input stream i'm just going so we we are going to just change the uh, file name because the same file cannot be inserted twice that's all the thing so we just to do a trick here that that's known to everyone uh, so we just uh, uh, take the time and uh, we just uh, add this uh, year month date hour uh, minute and seconds to this uh, file and uh, after that we just add the extension back to this file name so our file name will be something like this and we can format it in any ways so for our um, easy way just put this like that so I have a, I'll just uh, save the file and I have a function here as already used the image size but uh, 
this i will cover in the next video so for that for this video i'll just to save the data that's all okay and uh, let me see uh, what's yeah so i'll just to check if the file has any empty strings if it has then we'll just uh, put an underscore there that's all and the string path is equal to yeah so we have an image path let me see so we'll check if the path exists in our server then if not then uh, what we do is we just create a path here so we have uh, got a path there now file name so we can see the file name here this is the file name which i'm going to save and uh, see yeah fine so i have saved the file let me see if there we you know, wait a minute yeah i have got an image folder there just me let me open with the open folder in explorer yeah i have got the file and with the same size that's a 4.05 mb so i have got with the same name so you can just check the file name here see this is the file name in this file okay and uh, here i just send a string value that is a file uploaded successfully so and if there is any error then this the, this will hit and the error will be sent back to our uh, console so just I'll, I'll, I'll inspect it so you can see this the, all these um, consoles you can see that okay now i'll just return file so i'll just uh, continue so this is what the data i'll get back so file uploaded successfully and the status is 200 which is okay and the status te text is equal to e equals uh, uh, okay and yeah now it's okay now we have the file here and i'm not taking the file back because i'm in a development stage of this inventory system so when it when something is useful so those things i will be uploading to uh to this youtube and you can see so if i'm doing something mistake you can just come at me so if you want any help uh, or something like, like that you can just uh, contact me so that uh, uh, i can even help you and uh, i can even learn more that sort of thing so all these uh, projects are in a development stage so these are the things now i'm just doing it uh, i'll i'll do some videos when i'm getting um, enough time so thank you for watching this video and uh, have a great day and uh, please if you see these kind of videos are useful please do a subscribe button and uh, that will be a good thing for me to grow the videos and to help the people thank you thank you all